Hurricane Gajar. What's up guys? It is time for another guitar review and this time it is the Hurricane HSM 401 41 inch full size acoustic guitar. The guys at Hurricane Guitars reached out to me recently and said, hey, we are just getting in to the market of making and selling acoustic guitars. Can you help us by doing a review and helping us to get the word out about our new Hurricane acoustic guitars? And I was like, sure, yeah, I'd love to. Up until this point, Hurricane has mainly been known for their ukuleles. And when I check their listings on Amazon, you can see that they have several really nice looking ukuleles and look at the reviews guys, a lot of reviews and each one is almost a full five stars. So this isn't just some brand new company that just came together and just started making stuff. No, they've been making stuff and based on those reviews, I would say it's probably pretty good stuff. But I know what you're saying. Forget about the ukuleles. What about the guitar? Is it any good? Well, we're gonna find out. Let me give you the specs first. This guitar features a solid spruce top with mahogany sides and back. The neck is made of Ogumon, I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure about the fretboard. It's dark, it's not rosewood. All it says on the Amazon page is that it is dark stained technical wood, whatever that means. But it's totally fine. No problems with the wood at all. It has black binding all around the top and bottom of the body. The neck has 20 frets. Both the nut and the saddle are made of bone. And because this is a full-size 41-inch acoustic guitar, it does have that deep, full, resonating tone. And when you buy this guitar, you don't just get the guitar. Oh no, you get a whole bunch of other stuff too. You get this really nice gig bag. It is not just one of those thin little nylon dust covers. No, it's actually got padding in there. It's actually really good. And you can see that the guitar fits perfectly in the gig bag. In addition, you get a nice metal capo, a tuner, an extra set of strings, three picks, all different sizes, a polishing cloth, a stick on pick guard that you can put on the guitar if you want to, an Allen wrench to adjust the truss rod, and a Christmas holiday strap. It's a guitar strap, yeah. Um, you know, my one suggestion to Hurricane is that if you're gonna include a strap with your guitars, you might wanna make it just like plain black or brown, something that's kinda neutral and not specific to a certain time of year. However, you are gonna see me using this strap when it gets to be around Christmas time. So when you see me with this strap in some of my videos, you're gonna go, hey, I remember that strap. He talked about it when he did that Hurricane Acoustic Guitar Review. Merry Christmas. So the guitar looks absolutely beautiful. The wood grain on the mahogany back and sides, it's great. I mean, it couldn't look any better. And I went over this thing with my microscope and my fine tooth comb to see if there were any issues or problems that I could see right off the bat. And there's nothing. Fit and finish, this guitar is put together great. I am more and more impressed with the level of quality that we're getting on these budget-friendly guitars these days. They seem to really be upping their game as far as putting them together, making them nice, and ensuring that the quality is good. The nut is extremely important because if the nut is not positioned right and the slots aren't cut right, it can lead to a lot of tuning issues, meaning you're playing and the guitar is constantly going out of tune. And a lot of times in the past on the budget guitars, guys, the nuts would be uneven or it'd be hanging off the side or too low or too high or all kinds of issues. But when I looked at this thing carefully, it's perfect. It's sitting on there exactly right. It's not hanging over on the sides. It is not too high, it's not too low, and the slots seem to be cut perfectly so there's no tuning issues. And again, it's bone, so that gives you a little bit better tone, I think. If you've watched any of my other guitar reviews, you know I always have to talk about the neck and the frets. The neck is crucial. If the neck is not good and the fretwork isn't good, then it's really hard to say that that guitar is good, right? So I'm gonna check a couple of things here. First, I'm gonna use this guy to see if the neck is straight or not. And even if it isn't straight, guys, it's a really easy fix. They give you the Allen wrench to adjust the chest rod. It's easy. You just put the Allen wrench like right in there 
and righty tighty, lefty loosey. I've had to do that sometimes on guitars. It's just a couple of turns and then it's perfectly straight. But let's see if this one is straight or not. And then if we need to adjust it, we will. All right, guys, you probably can't see that, um, but I'm looking at it up close here and all the notches on the ruler here, the straight edge, whatever you call it, they are perfectly flat against the fretboard. So this neck is already perfectly straight right out of the box. Thumbs up. Now, what's even more important? Hmm? Anybody remember? The frets. The frets. This is crucial. Good fret work or bad fret work, that makes the difference between a guitar that is great and really playable and horrible and not playable. So I'm going to use my fret rocker here and basically we use this to go over the frets to see if any of the frets are sticking up higher than the two surrounding frets. You do three frets at a time because if you have any frets that are sticking up, that's going to lead to fret buzz when you're playing the guitar. And then the action has to be raised to get rid of that buzz. And then before you know it, the action's way too high. It's hard to play and you hate the guitar. And then the other thing is if it does have that and you want to get rid of it, you've got to take the strings off. You've got to level all the frets with the sanding block. It's a whole procedure. Nobody wants to do that. It's no fun. So let's check it. Here we go. Wow, perfect, totally impressed. There was a time before guys where if you bought a budget friendly guitar, you know, made in another country, you were pretty much guaranteed that the fretwork was gonna be atrocious and not good. So I'm really glad to see that these companies are finally understanding that if you want customers to like the guitars and give you good reviews and recommend them and keep buying your stuff, that the fretwork needs to be pretty good. Excellent would be even better. This one's perfect. No frets sticking up. And then the other thing you want to check is are there sharp edges? Uh, again, a lot of the budget friendly guitars in the past and even some still now have had sharp edges. That means they didn't sand it or file it down enough. And then as you're running your hand along the neck, you're like constantly feeling these sharp edges and that's no fun. Let's check it. Nothing. Absolutely perfect. Wow. So I need to give like double thumbs up to Hurricane because they're obviously putting in the time and the dedication and the craftsmanship. Did I say that right? Craftsmanship is good. Uh, they're ensuring that the frets are good. They know that's important. So I'm really glad to see that. Okay guys, so we know the neck is good. The frets are good. The nut is good. It's beautiful, no issues with the construction or the finish or anything. There's only one thing left to do. How does it play and how does it sound? Let's check it out.
Okay, so what can I say, guys? Uh, it sounds good. It's easy to play. The neck is not too thin, not too thick. You definitely don't want a neck that's too thick, then it's harder to play. It's not. It's very comfortable. Um, I enjoyed playing it. I think it rings out really nice. Again, it's got the big body, so it's really deep, full body, resonating sound. I would have no trouble recommending this to anybody. So here's the deal. If you're looking to buy a new acoustic and this one's right around your price range, you know, it's 169 bucks, you should for sure consider it. You know, it's your standard acoustic, right? Um, but again, it's built very well, very nice looking wood, everything's good. You get all those accessories, gig bag, extra strings, everything that comes with it. For sure, you should consider this if you're in the market for a budget-friendly acoustic. I put the Amazon link in the description, so check it out. And guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and in the comments, let me know what you think about this new Hurricane acoustic guitar. See you next time, guys.